This demo is to show you how to set up and use the MA42 diagnostic audiometer. Carefully unpack all items from the shipping box. The Mako MA42 audiometer comes with all the standard accessories necessary to conduct a hearing task. Standard accessories include a power cable, headphones which can be chosen between the DD45, the IP30 insert phone, or the DD450 high frequency phone, a bone oscillator, mic monitor headset, a patient response switch, Mako Sessions software, a USB cable, the operation manual, and a quick guide. Optional accessories include a carrying case for ease and portability, a three inch thermal printer, and a sound room kit for connection to a sound booth. To get started, locate the sockets on the back of the unit. The headphones come specifically calibrated to the base unit. When using headphones, insert the red plug into the phone socket labeled right, and insert the blue plug into the left socket. Insert the green plug of the bone oscillator into the socket labeled bone. Insert the patient response into the socket labeled response. Locate the plugs of the mic monitor headset. Insert the pink plug into the mic socket. Insert the green plug into the monitor socket. If you choose to use the unit with Mako Sessions, plug in the standard USB cord into the USB in socket and the other end into a standard USB port on your computer. The power cord is plugged into the power socket. Your MA42 audiometer is now ready to use. To turn on the audiometer, flip the power switch on the back of the unit. You will see the display screen light up and then the Mako logo appears. It will take a minute to boot up. Make sure all the accessories are properly connected to the audiometer before turning on the device. Let's review the keys and dials on the front panel of the audiometer. The dials on the side change level for the signal on each channel. Change frequency using the plus or minus key and present the tone using the blue key next to the dial. You will see the LED stim light turn on as well as a stim light on the display turns green when the tone is presented. To present a constant stimulus for masking or the tone for interrupter mode, select the stim key. This turns on the signal, and pressing the blue presentation key will then interrupt the signal. Press the stim key again to toggle back to regular presentation mode. The left stim ta key is also used to activate talk forward so the patient can hear the examiner. This button also allows adjustment of the talk forward volume and the talk back volume. Hold the key to activate these functions. Once activated, highlight which function to adjust talk forward or talk back with the dial. Once highlighted, press the blue present button to activate your selection and the dial to adjust the level. To return to the test screen, press and release the stim talk key again. Default settings can be tailored to your preference in the settings menu. Let's look at the bottom row of keys. Transducers can be selected with the two outer keys, one for each channel. Press the key to toggle through the selections. If a selection does not light up, it is not calibrated and therefore not selectable. The device will automatically change both transducer types with the push of one transducer key, with the exception of bone. Just confirm both transducer keys are correct before proceeding with the test. Change the tone to pulse or warble with the selection key. Next to that, you can select to lock the stimuli of the two channels or track the channel levels together. Keys around the display change function depending on the screen you are in. These keys have two operation modes, a quick select and an advanced select. With quick select, the icon shown next to the key indicates what action will be taken. When a closed arrow is shown on the key display, this indicates advanced selection is also available for that key. For example, with this key, if the quick select is activated, all the results will be deleted. To activate the advanced select, simply hold down the key to reveal the additional key options. Once the key has expanded, use the dial to highlight the selection and press the present key to complete the action. 
The quick guide that was included with your device provides the definition for each icon. The bottom keys and labels display the current status of the test selections. Change the test ear with the two outer keys, one for each channel. The signal types are with the next set of keys. Tone and masking noise are displayed here. And the center key changes test type selection for accuracy of plotting results. These options vary based on the test screen being used. Test status can be easily identified by the status bar at the top of the screen with the level and frequency, as well as the test signal routed to each channel. Red or blue lettering indicates routing to the right or left ears. Stored thresholds are displayed on the audiogram. While in the tone screen, select the monitor function with the right stim monitor key. Simply hold down this key until the monitor command shows on the screen. Here you can adjust the level of the monitor for tone and noise independently. Use the side dial to select which monitor type you want to adjust. When highlighted, press the blue present key. Use the side dial to change the setting. To exit the selection, press the blue present key again. When monitor adjustments are completed, single press the stim monitor key. The monitor function works independently for the tone and speech test. To set monitor level for speech, go into the speech screen and perform the same actions. Calibration of speech inputs is necessary for the microphone and auxiliary use. To calibrate speech inputs, select the monitor key while in the speech screen. Use the side dial to highlight input calibration. Adjust the side dials until the VU meter shows green and is not peaking into red. Select the present key to activate this selection. When the adjustment is completed, press the stim monitor key to save the settings and to return to the speech test screen. Wave files are stored speech lists that are pre-calibrated and stored within the device. To conduct a speech test using WAV files, select the speech screen, then select or verify WAV is selected. WAV file menu appears for WAV file selection. To re-enter the WAV file menu, use the quick select function on the top right key. SRT or WRS will be displayed based on the list that you selected. If you would like to change how the test is stored, press the WRS or SRT key to select a different test label. For WRS scoring, set your level and press the present key to begin. The recorded words are presented to the patient. Score the responses correct or incorrect using the plus or minus keys. Press the S key to store the result. Save individual thresholds and speech scores using the S key as you conduct the test. Once the test is finished, the audiogram results can be saved in several ways. Pressing PDF will save the results to a USB flash drive connected to the USB out socket. The USB flash drive can then be plugged into a computer and reports can be saved or printed. The unit can be used in conjunction with the software module Mako Sessions. Mako Sessions can be used as a standalone software for printing to default printer or to a PDF, or it can be loaded into a database. Database options are Auto Access or NOAA. This will allow for test results to be stored and later recalled or printed. Pressing Print will print the results to a printer that is directly connected to the audiometer. The printer available is a 3-inch thermal printer that is an optional accessory available to order. Please consult your distributor for purchase of this accessory. Special tests are testing options with unique test screens or default device setup for quick and easy operation. Select the special test key to access the available tests. This list will vary based on the included special test and those license options purchased separately. Selection is different based on device setup or test screen. When you see the icon with a star in the box, a quick select will open the special test screen. When this icon is not displayed on the test screen, an advanced select will open the menu for access.
The MA42 audiometer contains many setting options that allow you to customize your audiometer. Default settings have been chosen to accommodate the most common uses, however if these default settings do not meet your needs, the settings are easily changed in the settings menu. Select settings menu from the top right display key. This is displayed with the advanced select function. Press and hold the key to expand the selection. Highlight the setting icon with the side dial. Then press the present key to make the selection. Once in the setting menu, options are managed through multiple categories. Use the side dial to scroll through the selections and the present key to access the setting options. When changes to settings are made, they are immediately saved. Use the back key to return to the previous screen or for immediate exit of the menu, use the tone or speech keys on the left side of the display screen. The MA42 audiometer is a calibrated medical device and should be handled with care. The unit should be stored and used at room temperature, and extreme heat or cold should be avoided. The audiometer may be cleaned with a damp cloth or a disinfectant wipe. Please follow your facility's policy and recommendations for cleaning and disinfecting. Avoid excessive moisture or liquid on the unit or headphones as this may damage the internal components. Avoid tightly wrapping the cords as this will cause additional wear and tear and strain on cords and connections. Never swap headphones without having the unit recalibrated. The headset is specifically calibrated to the unit and using a different pair of headphones may give inaccurate results. It is recommended that the audiometer be serviced and calibrated once a year to ensure proper function and accuracy. Contact your local MAKEL distributor to schedule an annual calibration. This has been a presentation on the MAKO MA42 audiometer. If you would like additional information, please contact your local distributor or visit our MAKO Diagnostics website. Thank you for watching this instructional video.